We are underway. Brian Keith not showing any signs of intimidation at all as Tanaka extending the handshake. I'll tell you what, Tanaka's got this aura about him of being a hardcore guy, an aura about him of being a bruiser, but he is super fast. You're going to see how quick this guy, how in shape this guy is. Brian Keith's got his work cut out for him tonight, I'll tell you what. Tanaka's been everywhere. I mean, you name a professional wrestler, and Tanaka's been in the ring with him at, at some point or another, and it's really, you talk about hybrid styles, whether it's the, the ultra-violence or the super-fast technical style, Brian Keith is really gonna have to be on his toes because Tanaka can pull any of those styles out if he needs to. Yeah, a bag full of many, many tricks, that's for sure. The Ultralight Championship not on the line in this matchup. But uh, Brian Keith has had some big, big title defenses. You yeah, mentioned winning the Bacon title in a match against Myron Reed, one of the top cruiserweights in the sport today, as Tanaka has Keith tied up with the head scissors. Bounty Hunter with wins over Evan Rivers and Titus Alexander. Successful defense of the PCW Ultralight Championship. And I know uh, looking forward to his next appearance at PCW Ultra. Without a doubt, on October 28th, we're going to see him face Jack Cartwheel. Now, Cartwheel's been load trotting all over the place. Mexico, Japan, all over the States. It's going to be a super exciting match. Brian Keith, yes. as I mentioned on the, the broadcast yes. before, and we talked about it's really after the pandemic, or you know, right, right as we came out of that, that Brian Keith kind of exploded on onto the, the national and international stage, really. 10 years in the sport, trained under Booker T out of the Houston area. A guy that I knew way back when, when I started in, in Houston. But the, the interesting thing to me, and perhaps it's because Texas is such a giant state, but Brian never wrestled out of the state of Texas, never got on an airplane until a couple of years ago. And it's just uncanny that you, you can have 10 years experience and be as talented as he is. And it's only just now, 10 years into his career, that anybody outside of Texas knows who he is. It's absolutely astonishing. I mean, the first time this guy got uh, booked out of the state, out of his state, was uh, WrestleMania for, for Florida. So it's uh, just a great thing that the world knows about him right now. And hey, maybe he just needed to simmer that that long, long, long time. And it uh, it, it leads this a wrestler like Brian Keith to be super grateful for what he has. He's, he's one of the best. He's, he's not uh, taking anything for granted. And this guy is rocking and rolling all over the world. He's wrestling some of the top competitors all over the world, and he's putting on four-star matches every single night. So we're, it's a treat for us to know about him now. And so far, really hanging in there, the veteran, Masano Tanaka, who uh, well, he seems impressed as well. That's the second time he's offered the handshake, and that's how he keeps accepting. Tanaka puts on the brakes, drops right down into the headlock. Keith able to roll out of that. Oh, man, what a big boot. I tell you what, you saw pure red, uh, veteranism right there, and then Brian Keith came out of there and was on top of that. Absolutely astonishing. Tanaka huh? into the corner, trying to back off a second, catches his breath, and Keith says, give me one. Is that a guy you really want to challenge and, and, and kind of poke out a little bit? Tanaka. You what, both of these guys are double tough, but you're right. I would not want to do that to Tanaka and get him all riled up. But you know what? I have. I have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tanaka, and it is no day at the park, that's for sure. Both men trading chops. Brian Keith, the bounty hunter, and the veteran, Masato Tanaka, right here tonight in Yakima Valley, Washington. The five primo lucha. Oh, man. Oh, right, these guys are going to be beat red when this is all said and done. Shades of all Japan in 1992. Oh, these guys are just, you can hear these thuds all through the arena. They're trying to wear each other down, and neither wants to give an inch here, Sheik. No, they don't, that's for sure. We haven't seen a match like this tonight. This is a really, really great treat for the fans. Good, great treat for us. Yeah, hard-hitting matchup. 
has the potential to, uh, and as we said, I mean, it, it could go either way. It could, we could see a technical battle, or it could be just a, a slugfest, and right now that's what we're getting. Keith and Tanaka trading the shot back and forth, dead center of the ring, and again, neither man wants to back down. Neither man wants to show any weakness at all. No quarter, absolutely no quarter. Keith delivered the headbutt. Talk about being in there against Tanaka in his toughness. What makes Tanaka so special? What's so difficult about being in the ring with him? He's like a Chucky doll. He just keeps coming back. He just keeps coming and coming and coming. You have to do a lot. You have to put a lot of damage on Tanaka to get it to even blink an eye. So he is just double tough. This guy has been in there with Mike Awesome. This guy's been in there with the most extreme fighters of all over the world. The Terry Funks, the Sandmans, the Mike Awesome. Uh, you know, this guy has just fought the toughest oh. the He's giving it to Brian Keith right now. Spiked him with that DDT, and now Tanaka lining up the bounty hunter, pulling himself up on the ropes. Oh, big clothesline in the corner. Oh, is he going for diamond dust? He is. Uh-oh, if he hits this, it's all done for Brian Keith. And I think Keith knows that. Oh, what a unique headbutt. He caught him right in the jaw from underneath an uppercut of sorts. He's climbing the ropes, trying to grab hold of Tanaka. And oh, Tanaka, oh, oh man, oh, I thought Tanaka reversed it there, but no. <laughs> Keith with the stunner off the ropes. Oh, what a big clothesline, cover! Leg is hooked in a kick out at one and a half, wow. He's using Tanaka's arsenal on Tanaka. Hits the diamond dust and then the big clothesline. <laughs> again, both men content to trade shots dead center of the ring. And Tanaka. Ooh, oh, with a bevy of strikes, countered with a big kick to Gaman Giri by Brian Keith. Tanaka gets the boot up. You want Tanaka? Oh, he got it! Keith rocked. Tanaka in charge. No, 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 no! You keep him in the middle. It's a different way the Japanese train. I, I was I was in Japan for a long, extensive period and. They'll squat standing on each other's thighs. Uh, you'll notice when Tanaka's taking all those shots, his legs never buckle. Uh, having your legs underneath you the way he does is a serious asset. Oh! No! Keith answers. Brain buster. That leg strength really coming into play right now, Sheik. Keith with the exploder suplex. Tanaka back up. Keith trying to catch him again. Countered. Exploder right into the buckles. I have not seen a back and forth match like this in a long, long time. These guys are on each other. Back and forth, back and forth. This is incredible. This is one of those rare occurrences where I think you can safely say neither guy really has the edge here. Both struggling to get back to their feet. Maka's looking like he's up first. Keith pops up. He's one resilient competitor. Oh, he almost got the sliding D. Here comes the Tiger Driver. Oh, he hits it. It's up. Oh, oh, kick out of two with nine tenths. Oh, my God. My, my goodness. When Brian Keith hits that Emerald Tiger driver, it is usually all done. I have never seen anyone kick out of that. He's going to get it again. 
Tanaka wobbly. Keith trying to get the double underhook. And this time Tanaka able to slide out of it. Standing switch. Ooh. Keith buckles to a knee. match. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Masato Tanaka! Wow. Neither man is going to walk away from that match depressed. I mean, both of those guys left everything in the ring. What an incredible, incredible bout. No shame in a loss against Masato Tanaka. That's for damn sure. The fans got their money's worth with that one. Yeah, you got to give it up to the legend. You got to give it up to the legend, Masato Tanaka, showing the world right here, showing the world that he still has it. Facing one of the absolute best in the world, and Brian Keith went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the legend. I think Brian Keith's a made man after tonight. I'm gonna say a lot of times, you know, you take somebody's hat off like that and you put it on, that's a way to mock them. Not in this case. That was Tanaka's way of saying, I respect you, young man. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And it's mutual. You know, sometimes in professional wrestling, you see something like this, and this is just... This is absolutely incredible. I'm just happy I'm here to witness it. I think the fans that are here tonight are absolutely lucky to be here. This is an incredible night. And the action continues here tonight at Define Primo Lucha. A huge main event on the way. Swerve Strickland, Ijo Del Vikingo one-on-one. -on -one. The Sovereign, battle of the team of Ultimo Dragon, Cody Chun and Nick Wayne. And coming up, the Define Primo Lucha Championship is up for grabs. The champion, Gringo Loco, defends against Galeno Del Mal and Ares. That's on the way. Stay put here on Remix. We're back in a minute.